In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus AlNO3,3, sodium hydroxide plus aluminum nitrate. First thing we do with balancing net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have three nitrate groups here and one here. So I'm just going to put a three in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have three sodiums and just one here. I'll put a three here. That fixes the sodiums. Now I have also three hydroxides. Three hydroxides, that's good. Aluminum, aluminum. We're done. This equation is balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. Sodium hydroxide, strong base. That'll be aqueous, split apart into its ions. Nitrates are very soluble. Put a little AQ for that. We have sodium nitrate, another nitrate, aqueous. And then aluminum hydroxide. In general, hydroxides are insoluble, with a few exceptions. Elements in group one, like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, they're soluble. But the other hydroxides, almost all of them are insoluble. So we're going to write a S. This is going to be a solid. It won't dissolve. It'll be a precipitate. These compounds react. We form a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one on the periodic table. That'll have a one plus ionic charge, and the whole hydroxide ion is one minus. So we'll have three sodium ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the three goes to everything, so we have three hydroxide ions. For aluminum, that's always three plus the nitrate ion, always one minus. So we have Al3 plus the aluminum ion, plus we have three of these nitrate ions, so three NO3 minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product, we have a positive and a negative here, so three sodium ions, and then three nitrate ions, and then the aluminum hydroxide since that's a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We'll have AlOH3. That's our aluminum hydroxide. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants I have three sodium ions and in the products, three sodium ions. Get rid of those, three nitrate ions, and in the products, three nitrate ions. Get rid of those. And what's left is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus AlNO3,3. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus aluminum nitrate. You can see that charge is conserved. We have three negative charges here and then three positive, they balance out, neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up, you'll have the same number of each type of atom on both sides. So mass is conserved. Sometimes you'll see the positive charge ion first. Doesn't really matter. Looks a little nicer, I guess. Either way, it's the same net ionic equation. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.